Hello there dear YouTubers, my name is King1993 and today is another day of me trying to explain the best Nikkei starting today and forwards, okay? So in the year 2024, January 2nd, today I'm gonna be talking about uh, which Nikkei you should be getting. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let me explain. So if you obviously go to this recruit section, you can currently now recruit this character here and this character is called scarlet uh, black shadow okay now the thing about scarlet black shadow is this character is very useful but i had to do a benchmark in order for me to actually understand that okay now what do i mean by benchmark well allow me to explain uh, allow me to explain about that topic very carefully so that you will be able to understand very properly okay so if i go to this union section union rate section and go to this shooting range what i did is make the character fight in their own uh, elemental range by doing so you will not get extra more uh, damage output or even less output you will just get proper one versus one output okay but if you were to fight a nikkei in a ground such as water okay then obviously this fire character is not going to be doing extremely well against fire water type of enemies. So what I did, I made the character fire type of character fight against fire type of enemy. So I did this benchmark based on this thing. And obviously I used this uh, scope block by doing so. What happens is every character's uh, statistics are basically at default. So that is basically how I did the benchmark. And the benchmark that I got is a little bit concerning okay so i'll be talking about that now where have i done my benchmark if you are wondering well let me show you where the benchmark is and uh, why did i actually do that okay so if i were to go and show you this website which is called brightwind.gg and then click on this page and then click on tier list then you'll see many options here click on boss solo and then you will be reorganized with this pattern here now as you can see obviously from the dps category all of these characters are dps category dps as in damage per second these are main attacker type and these are supporter type and these are also another type of supporter okay sometimes they are called shielders whatever it is that is not important let's talk about the attackers part now you might be thinking most of them are going to be doing about a damage of more than 30 million, right? Or something near as that. Well, you'll be shocked by how inaccurate this is based on how you use them. First of all, do understand that I am not a pro Alice user. Neither am I a pro Maxwell user. So even if I were to show you my benchmark, then I can also say at the same time, maybe i do not know how to use them properly which is why i got the wrong score sorry about that if i made any type of miscalculation in that part okay but other than that there are some other topics here that i'm gonna be discussing so anyway how did the benchmark came out so when i did the benchmark so this is the benchmark that i have came out with okay now this uh guillotine character as you can see here this guillotine character, according to the tier list is an SSTR character. Now, as an SSTR character in Boss Solo, this character is capable of doing a large quantity of damage, but to the boss character only. But here is the thing if majority of the time the boss character are to get high amount of damage out of this DPS character, then DP this DPS character can also able to do a lot of damage to the um, mo to the what should I call it? mobs of those stages so what do i mean by that well as i have already said that i want to went to this union rate uh shooting range to actually do the benchmark so what did i found in the benchmark well here is the topic so in the benchmark i found that guillotine is a ss rank character not triple s rank double s rank character so 18 million is a proper calculation okay now, Alice is a triple S rank character and this character has a total damage output of 20 million. Now, I have seen other players who have used this uh, fast clicking method. By doing so, Alice was able to do a large quantity of damage on the train boss. Okay. Now, Maxwell 
I got about 20 million damage out of Maxwell okay and when it comes to Snow White Snow White did about 31 million damage okay now this is winter owner and obviously I made the winter owner fight against other water type uh, mobs and boss in the shooting range and she was still able to do 32 million damage which is actually a lot <clears throat> so when I say a lot I'm gonna be talking about a lot starting from Snow White because a 30 million damage dealer is gonna be obviously fall into the category of triple S rank and not in double S rank okay now as I go forward you can definitely see Scarlet is capable of doing 36 million damage even facing against the same type of uh, elemental damage enemy so that is basically speaking that Scarlet should be in triple S rank but in this category here she is not triple S rank she is a double S rank character why and when it comes to Red Hood, Red Hood is doing a damage of 37 million damage so obviously putting uh, uh, Red Hood on the stop category is not a very good idea because Modinia can do a lot more but why is Red Hood at the bottom isn't Red Hood a lot more stronger than Ludmilla okay that is another question mark and at the end there is Mordenia. Now Mordenia is capable of doing 40 million damage even facing enemies of the same type as her. Okay. Now last but not least is Scarlet Black Shadow. Now you might be thinking okay maybe because of the support that Blanc and Noir was able to provide uh, Scarlet Black Shadow got a large quantity more damage right. Well it is true but also at the same time you can definitely say the same thing about Mordinia as well because Mordinia did a lot more damage dealing despite having the other type of elemental support. So what can you say about this one? Well obviously Mordinia is a very good damage dealer so that's basically what I'm trying to say. So what am I saying? I'm saying is actually follow this uh, tier list guide a lot but despite following this tier list guide a lot I do not know what is actually happening. Why is Scarlet below? Scarlet can do a lot more damage than uh, let's say Maxwell or Ludmilla or even Alice. But she should be on the triple S rank and not in the double S rank category. So that's the thing which I have discovered. So basically what I'm saying is because there is this new function which you are now capable of using your character on the shooting range to actually measure their strength you just have to click on this scope lock and find their default value so if you find their default damage value or support value then you will be able to understand which type of character you should be getting or not okay now other than that if you were to ask me okay which type of character i should be pulling for then obviously this video will still be able to help you okay so first of all let's talk about the uh, manufacturer type i will not talk about the abnormal because the abnormal are basically one-time collaboration and they might not come again whereas Elysion, Missilis, Pilgrim and Tetra are gonna be the main topic of this video and obviously I will also talk about the character which will uh, again show up yearly so let's start with Elysion so when it comes to Elysion the character that you should be going for is not Redwood this is a uh, mistake I think some sort that she is put here in every section category but she is not she is a pilgrim character so forget if you see her in any other category other than pilgrim okay now let's start so the character that you should be pulling for as a elision is going to be masked but if you are in the summer time category let's say whenever summer starts if you have helm aqua marine helm okay get her because she is a double string character and other than that if you try to add any of the character in this pool section here in the recruit section then obviously the character that you should be uh, what is it you should be putting in your revised list okay is gonna be mast guillotine Miranda uh, one two three and let's see diesel 
and Marciana, not poly. Don't get poly. Helm and uh, private. Okay, now if you were to say, okay, that is a lot, that is not five, that is about six, then I would say that you go for mast one, a guillotine two, Miranda three, and Marciana as four because she's a healer character. And if you think that, well, you need a char character that can do long distance damage, then go for diesel. Any of these two is very good. And then one, two, three, four. Once you have uh, any of these, then the next one you should be getting is Helm or Privity. Now, both of them are good, except uh, this Helm is basically a sniper shooter and this Privity is basically a assault rifle shooter okay both of them are water type category but other than that if you were to ask me okay out of these three uh first three character which one should i be getting definitely go for guillotine because having different type of elements is very useful and also at the same time when it comes to help and privacy i suggest if you have marciana then go with privacy because you do not need an extra healer marciana is a very good healer herself she will be able to provide a lot large quantity of healing for the entire teams which is why helm is not needed in that category but you definitely need privacy because privacy can do aoe damage on the enemy so from that point of perspective one two three four and five is my most recommended category any other category that has fallen below the triple below the s rank is not my recommendation okay so that is uh the lc on one now let's talk about the missiles now when it comes to the missiles i do not know why but majority of the missiles character are extremely good and to the point that I would definitely recommend you getting them. Now, obviously when it comes to this uh, a recruitment wish list, you need to get an idea of which one you should be getting. The first one, which is definitely you should be getting is litter as burst one. And when it comes to burst two, you just need to have Tia and Naga in the same team. You do not need to use Tia's burst one all the time. Uh, Litter can do it all the time, so that is not a problem. But when it comes to Tia and Naga, if you want to use their uh, beneficial combination, then getting both of them in the same team is a very good idea. Okay, It is not a bad idea, good idea. And when it comes to burst three, definitely go for Maxwell. So this is my first four combination. Now, if you need a healer then i highly suggest that you go for pepper because pepper is going to be capable of giving you a lot more healing but not as best as other type of healer because compared to other healers within the game pepper is not that much good okay so what is my recommendation my recommendation is go for litter tia naga maxwell and pepper now once you have all of this clear, in case if you do not have either Tia or Naga, then if you were to have any of these three, which one you should be getting? Obviously, I would go for Admi and Guilty because this Admi and Guilty is going to be giving you large quantity of overall damage output. Why? Either because of this character's ability to provide a lot more buff and this character's ability to do a lot more uh, burst damage okay so buffer and a debuffer not only that she also does a large quantity of damage so from that point of perspective if you do not have naga or tia okay and you are looking for a replacement for that then either go for admi or guilty now here's the thing guilty you can get her from the other places in the game which is basically called liberation zone so you can get guilty from the liberation zone. So if you are new to this game and you are getting options to choose any of the liberation zone character, then I highly suggest you start with guilty. Okay. So that is basically for missiles. Now let's talk about the Tetra. Now when it comes to Tetra, no need to go for novel. No need. Definitely you do not need novel. You need blank. And noir yes you need blank and noir okay once you have blank and noir the next one you should be going for is Alice okay 
Now, why not uh, Ludmilla Winter owner or Anis Sparkling Summer? Why not this two? That is because these two characters are basically uh, yearly based character. They will come once a year. So obviously the chances of you actually getting them is going to be very low. Whereas the chances of you actually getting Blanche or Noir or even Alice is going to be extremely high. Okay. Ignore Red Hood because this is a pilgrim character not a tetra okay now if you were to say okay i have filled up the slot of one two and three where can i uh, get the more of these slots to get filled up okay in the in that case i suggest that you go for volume because volume is capable of doing a lot more buffer okay now if you are a new player and do not know how to handle uh all of the enemy attacking a single character then don't go for noise okay rather go for uh mary pe godes now why this character because this character is capable of providing a lot more healing so if you want to go for a character which can do a lot more healing on the treacher category then go for uh mary pe godes and plums and noir and alice okay one two uh, one two three four now if you want one more extra then i suggest that you go for this dola because dola is actually a very good character if the if either of this were not show up then i think dola would still have been a triple s rank character so that much good dola is. if you do not have any of them okay then go for dola so these are my five recommendations for tetra character now in case of the pilgrim character if you are confused which pilgrim character you should be getting or if there were to be ever be an option of when you would get the chance to get any of the pilgrim character which pilgrim character you should be getting because you cannot choose them because the, in the recruitment section you do not have the option to actually choose which type of pilgrim character you are gonna be capable of getting because there is no option so when there is no option what can you do you can only hope and upgrade them okay what do i mean by that well allow me to explain if you were to get noah snow white innocent days isabel or nihilister or haran their damage output is extremely low okay but if you were to compare them with dorothy or let's say Modernia or Snow White or Red Hood, they can do a lot more damage. Okay. So from the benchmark which I have did, I can definitely say that if you have the option to get Scarlet, definitely get Scarlet. Okay. Now there are two Scarlet at the moment which is happening. If you look at this part here, somewhere around here, it's gonna be the new Scarlet. Here it is Scarlet Black Shadow. So if you have the option to get any of the Scarlet, get the two Scarlet because this is this is scarlet only and scarlet black shadow both of them are gonna be extremely strong characters okay this one sh this character should be doing about 37 million damage whereas the scarlet black shadow is capable of doing about 51 million damage which is a lot a lot more compared to red hood snow white and even modernia so from that point of perspective i would say that if you were to follow this advice from the beginning till the end to understand which type of character you should be getting and why you should be getting them because I have explained them to you and in case if you think okay my ex ability to explain all of this is boring and not very useful then I highly suggest that you go to the union section on the shooting range and make the character fight against their own elemental type to get a proper idea of what is happening and also make sure to use a scope lock to make sure that you are actually getting the default output not the enhanced output for example my current level is 261 and this basically make all of the character go at maxed star tier category as well as at a locked position of 200 level 200 okay so in this way you will be able to understand if i am actually telling the truth or not and if you think that my benchmark system is bad please let me know because i know i have messed up on the alice part because majority people use alice and maxwell in a different way 
by using their mouse a lot more quicker which i was not capable of doing as efficiently as possible okay so if you find this video useful then please give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification icons to get more of this type of topic on a regular basis thank you and see you again next time